GameStop is making some moves today. I mean, yesterday we saw almost all the stock market just crumble down. Everything was dropping quickly. Even GameStop we saw after the earnings report just got absolutely slaughtered down here. And we hit lows closer towards the area, like what looks like 115-ish, give or take. And look at this now. It has pretty much skyrocketed up. And let's just take a look at this gain really quick. And I'm on the one-hour chart. So let's see at the highs of 50 plus percent. So off that bounce, that's a crazy 50% bounce right there. But I was showing in my other video, and you can watch it. It's to me, it looks like a cup and handle. So we had the pretty much we got a little cup action going on here. And then we got the little handle action here, and then it breaks out. So you can see it's testing the 50 EMA right now. It looks like it popped out over it. But obviously, when you see something spike up a ridiculous amount, it's not going to do that forever. So we could see that slowly dip off and they can consolidate for a bit. But let me just show you really quick. So like, take a look at this chart, just picture this chart. And then boom, I showed the exact picture the other day. We got a little cup action, handle, and then boom, breaks out. So... At least right now, this is what I'm visualizing it. Now, I could be 100% raw. This price just tanks back down. But just remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Be sure to do your own research before making any investments. But, I mean, if you look at GameStop and even AMC2, compared to the other stocks today, they're actually doing quite well. A lot of other stocks I've been following are just taking a beating right now. They're all in the red. And right now, GameStop decides to be like, oh, not going to do that today. So, I mean, see, we can see right here, we have some resistance levels around this area. And let me see about this. I'd say this touch points. If you want to, you want to touch these points from one, two, and then obviously over here. So we can see that it pretty much tested that area right here. So it looks like what 175. And that was what's interesting too is that this 175 price point. If I were to put put it like right here, 175, pretty much. This was actually the price target that uh, we had here from Jeffries and. Pretty much you can see this article, this was posted, um, you know, recent and says GameStop's new 125 price target from Jefferies has Reddit traders celebrating. And this was way before this price even jumped back up. Like this was when it was tanking down. So like, and we can see here the Jefferies analyst Stephanie increased her price for GameStop to 175 on Wednesday. And then basically was Inc. cited the e-commerce sales and a digital transformation as her reasoning in a note to the client. So if you guys didn't see the previous video, basically... GameStop's doing a big push towards e-commerce. They're tapping into a lot of online products and it's actually expanding their catalog. So that's like a big uh, push in terms of future projections and what they can potentially do. And obviously, you know, we got Red Wall Street bets behind this, but it's funny because it went from $15 to $175. And then we can just see here that uh, the, the main thing it was obviously the earnings, right? So you guys just catch you up on Earnings, I mean, they're still decent, right? But they weren't, you know, over the expectations. They weren't insane. So obviously, we had quarantine. You no, know, most people were inside their houses for most of the month last year, and that impacted a lot of businesses. GameStop, it wasn't too detrimental, I'd say. So you could see that the people who maybe didn't like the earnings report, they probably, you know, sold, took profits, or just got out, whatever they did. But you can see here. I mean, we had the highs, and then pretty much dropping down below here. And then obviously now we have way more interest and also even the RSI indicating, right? Because usually RSI isn't just one thing to look at. You have to look at other different um, factors too. But clearly you can see here it's way oversold and then all of a sudden it was reversing right now. Now it's going back towards the, I'd say, overbought territory. So again, remember, things can't just go up forever. It's going to most likely dip back down. You can see it's already slowly dipping as I'm filming this video. So we could see it slowly consolidate maybe sideways it could dip even lower and then people buy back in but i'd say is once we get back over this 50 ema then it's probably going to be i say better for us that would indicate that we pretty much would be trending back upwards and i mean looking like right here so for instance looking back we were well above the 50 ema crashes back down well below it right now got right back up and look how far we trended upwards again and then now we're back below the 50 ema so we need to get back over this and that would be I say, a bullish sign for us to look at the long term and then obviously, I mean, we got plenty of this year and then next year, etc. for GameStop to recover. But at least right now, it's definitely interesting to see GameStop doing well compared to the other stocks out there. And then I'll just pull up you really quick and just show you guys the current volume for the day. 25 mil plus volume. So that's actually pretty decent, especially for GameStop and seeing how there's such a huge community behind this and the Reddit team. So in terms of news updates, I mean, there's really nothing I'd say that I saw uh, recently 
that you know makes people want to buy in is, as seems just the fact that people took massive profits or they sold off and then the RSI indicates that it's oversold and then people just bought back in. So they're pretty much they're buying the dip. Now, is this going to hold long term? Again, we'll just have to wait and see. But aside from that, guys, let me know what your price predictions are in GameStop. Are there any news updates that I haven't seen? Feel free to comment them down below. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new so you want to see more updates like this. And aside from that, if you want to get two free stocks by up to $1,850, then be sure to click the first link in the description below. Sign up for an account and as long as you deposit $100 minimum or more, you'll be able to receive two free stocks by up to potentially $1,850. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next one.